Enjoy. Um, something that I would tell juniors to do is to visit college campuses. Um, just because when I was going through this process of seeing what college I wanted to go to, um, I had in mind my top three colleges, and when I went and visited, I ended up hating them. Just because I didn't, what I had in my head was so different from the actual, what it actually looked like. It's really important for you to figure out what you want in a college before you actually start searching. Like for me, I figured out that I wanted to go to a private college, and that really helped with figuring out um, what else I wanted. Like, do I want to be in a college town or something like that? Try new things. Put yourself out there because really the best thing you can do for yourself is just trying new things and, you know. Uh, and also just like take advantage of every last minute you have because it's gonna come by like it's gonna go by so fast and you're it's like graduation is in a couple weeks and uh, just take advantage of all the time you have uh, with all your classmates because some people you probably never see again so uh, for college applications I would recommend starting as soon as you can like in the summer before your senior year you can always ask your counselors for like um, simple essay prompts and that will help you a lot when it's time for those deadlines. I changed my mind so many times about college and I didn't have a set place I wanted to go when I was a junior and I was, I'm still looking for a college. Um, but it's okay. But it's okay. <laughs> Don't overthink it. Have like a couple schools that you definitely know you're probably going to go to and have those in mind. I wouldn't apply to like 20 different schools because I know a lot of people would do that. And it just seems like a bunch of time, honestly a bunch of money if they require you to pay. So I'd say definitely apply to your state schools, try to get the scholarships, look at what scholarships are offering at the schools for like, if it's like it's a state school, they can offer like certain scholarships for GPA, and ACT and SAT scores. So like, look at that and use that as a goal. Uh, to get like certain amounts of scholarships and stuff, it'll really help. I felt like I belonged at all the schools, and I know like you should visit your schools and know where if you feel good in the environment. But honestly, like if I feel like I belong in every school, maybe it's just me who's doing it. It's not really the school. Maybe it's just because I want to go far. Maybe it's because of this. So honestly, don't stress over it too much. Like it's just gonna be four years. You're gonna have the rest of your life to do whatever you want. So yeah, just make it and put your effort to make your college experience great. Create a calendar with deadlines and important dates for you to remember. Just so that like, you know what you have to look forward to doing and making sure that you stay on top of everything that you need to get done. For juniors, if you play a sport, I think you gotta love every last moment of it. Um, my last days of football were pretty emotional. I, I miss it, and if I could go back to freshman year and do it, I'd do it all over again, for sure. Just like take advantage of everything because it's going to get here before you know it. To take ACT and SATs pretty early because when you are applying for college, you want to have early admissions so you have a better chance of getting in. And um, you should probably take both of them because you never know which one you're better at. I was personally better at the SAT. <laughs> I, I applied to 15 schools because I didn't really have much of an option. My parents told me to apply to them and to know what my options are. but it, got really messy, like I lost track of like my uh, school accounts, my school email, my school passwords. So like definitely like make a list of what you want to do, whether you want to just get prereqs, you can do community college, that's what I'm doing, or if you just want to go straight into major admiring, that's a good idea too. So make a list before what you're going to apply to. Yeah. Not I'm apply to 15 schools like me. <laughs> you should do a club. Be bit social. Do a show, join the chess club, do a varsity sport. Just do something. Grades are important, no doubt, but colleges don't just look at grades. They look at who you are as a person. So if they see you're a guy who's like in clubs, real popular, has a lot of friends, then colleges will look at that too. Oh, senioritis. Senioritis. Um, it is real. <laughs> senioritis. Make sure you do your homework because, um, you know, you don't want to bring your accumulative GPA down. Say you got accepted into the college of your choice. If the college finds out that you know your your last semester grades are terrible then you can still get rejected or you can still be denied scholarships that you weren't or that you at first were qualified for so it's really important to do your work even though this is your senior year and it's almost over you still have to find stuff to 
keep yourself motivated so that you finish the year strong and go to college. Do your homework. It means a lot. Like even if like, like when you hit senior year, it may seem like some busy work's happening. Definitely do your homework or else you're canned. Well, I recommend staying on top of things, knowing when things are due, and actually doing your homework because I know teachers might say that homework, gra homework grades aren't as important, but when you miss like 10 assignments. Just don't put things off. <laughs> yeah, it'll hurt your grade. So and it's really hard, like I know your parents probably tell you this, but it's really hard to go from like a D back to an A, but it's really easy to go from an A to a D. So just be aware and talk to teachers. Like they're not mean, they're not gonna tell you no. So what I would say is be really mindful of deadlines. Like one thing that I didn't know um, was that you have to like, I think wait like two weeks for your scores to be sent from like the ACT or SAT agency to your school. And like, so you might think you're ahead of the game, but like definitely send those early side to expedite mine, which is expensive. Um, and I would say definitely also like Mrs. McGee needs like two weeks to send your transcripts. So like be mindful of that. Cause I didn't know about any of those deadlines. It was really stressful because like a week and a half before I was like, oh no. Um, and also, like Ryan said, I would definitely say limit your number of schools. Like, I applied like 17, but it was a pain in the butt because my, my strategy was apply now and decide later, which then just makes deciding all the more harder, so you might as well just limit originally, and then you have to decide at some point, and it just makes your life easier, and then you can focus more on that individual school's scholarships.